proof that even with a big V8, you can get good fuel economy too. You just have to roll down a mountain everywhere. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. Behind me, that's my 2018 Camaro SS1 LE, and today I'm taking that thing out to the dyno. Now, I'm gonna be taking this thing to see Dustin at Street to Sand. This is the same place I took the Mustang to, and we saw that that thing put down 350 horsepower. Well, that engine's rated for 420. This one's rated for 455, so let's find out and see what this thing makes. And if you guys want, go ahead and pause the video now, put your comment down below, let me know what you think this car is gonna make. Street to Sand is the local performance shop that I deal with here in town. They deal with mostly American muscle and they deal with all kinds of stuff. Build LS swapped off-road vehicles, they will LS swapped your car. But I'm mostly there for the dyno. They do have an all-wheel drive dyno jet. I, you guys asked last time what kind of dyno do they have? Well, this time I took a look and I actually made sure which kind I had. That way you guys can all talk and argue about numbers on this car and how much power it actually makes or how a Mustang dyno is better or a dyno jet dynomometer is better. You guys can argue. Well, let's head over there and see what kind of numbers this thing puts down. Well, that was exciting. I bet you guys were wondering what kind of numbers this thing put down. Well, before I actually did the dyno pulls, I asked Dustin, I was like, hey, what does an average Camaro put down on your dyno? He said somewhere between 390 and 400 horsepower. Well, on the first pull, this thing did 404. I got to do two pulls. This was just baseline runs just to get some base numbers. This wasn't any tuning or anything involved. But second pull, that was the sweet spot. 410 horsepower and 414 foot-pounds of torque which pretty much explains why I need some better tires on the rear. First gear, I really don't get that much traction. Now, this thing is pretty much just a stock Camaro. The only thing I have done to it is I do have the cat back exhaust. We think that that's probably the reason that I have slightly higher than what he normally gets on his dyno, which I'm okay with, you know? More power is better. And some of you might be wondering, well, how does it compare to the Mustang? Well, the Mustang I took there, it did 350 horsepower. I don't think it was exactly 350. I think it was like 348. Um, here, I'll show the graph right here. You can take a look. This is what it did. Uh, but here, they actually gave me an overlay of putting the Camaro dyno numbers over the top of the Mustang dyno numbers. And as you can see, it makes pretty much more power everywhere in the power man. So this does prove that in my last episode, I was correct. My butt dyno is accurate. Now, this might be a little bit of an unfair comparison. In the Mustang, I have a first gen Coyote where this is an LT1. So this is probably a little bit closer to the third gen Coyote that they have out now. I would like to see some dyno numbers on those and see how this thing stacks up against that. But I don't have one, so we're just gonna go with it. Right now, this Camaro is faster than the Mustang. Well, if you guys do like this video, smash that thumbs up button. It helps out a lot with my channel, gets it out to more people so they can see it. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I do want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video.